Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jay Beck. Current role is I run strategic growth at Texas Health Resources. I'm also on the advisory board for Healthcare Wildcatters. And before I make the introduction, I just want to say a couple of things. I've had the opportunity to be in the healthcare arena for almost 30 years. Yes, I started when I was eight, but aside from that, I want to give some kudos here. I sold a healthcare company about seven years ago, and I investment banking firm went and did a search, and they came back with zero interest from any investors in the DFW area, which surprised me. So Hubert, Clay, Carl, and team, big round of applause to Healthcare Wildcares for what you've done in North Texas. <laughs> Fascinating, thank you. All right, now onto the good stuff. So in my career, I've had the opportunity to really understand population health management and how we're gonna get consumers engaged in this and that, seeing startups, mature companies, you name it. And what it takes, it takes a certain person, certain individual to really come in there and say, how are we gonna disrupt? How are we gonna be a disruptive innovator in this space? You see what's going on with Oscar Health, you see Limeade, you see Castlight. I mean, I've met all the founders there. And they all have this vision, and a lot of them actually didn't even have healthcare experience. So, but when you come down to consumer engagement, it's a really tough thing to understand and to help consumers, patients navigate through the whole maze of healthcare. Well, I ran across a few months ago, Sarah O'Leary from Excel Healthcare Advocates. And she had never been in the healthcare space. She came back from a marketing background, executive and marketing roles and LA, Chicago, New York. And I'm like, you know, after first meeting, like she's really onto something because I see the it factor with her. So anyway, she's truly defined what's called the CHM or consumer healthcare management space, just like a CRM space or something like that. And she really does know what it's gonna take to get the consumer engaged, to make a difference. And I love her business plan. I love her passion. I love everything about her energy. So. Without further ado, let me introduce Sarah O'Leary, CEO and founder of Excel Healthcare Advocates. Hi, I'm Sarah O'Leary. I am the CEO and founder of Exhale Healthcare Advocates, and I am thrilled to be here today. And this is Lisa Norat, dear friend of mine. I asked her a number of years ago what the worst part about breast cancer was, as only kind of a good friend could do. And her answer floored me. What's the worst part about breast cancer? The paperwork and the medical bills. Now she had a lot of choices. Chemo, radiation, losing her hair, surgeries, the implosion of her professional job as a vice president, and her personal life. But with the great PPO that she thought she had in Connecticut, she was staring down $88,000 worth of bills on her coffee table, and she wasn't out of chemo yet. 56 million people in the United States today will struggle to pay medical debt, 56 million out of 300 million insured Americans. Why we're here, health insurance costs continue to rise. It costs. $17,000 in premiums alone to insure the average family. Billing errors, overcharges, improper claim denials cost an estimated $58 billion that we don't owe, but we have to pay. Employers are stuck, and they are searching for ways to augment employee benefits. But what we know is if employees don't know how to use their insurance, or feel that they're underinsured, all that money that the employer is paying to give them coverage goes right out the window because they won't go unless they're faced with a chronic condition. And for the gentlemen in this room, I'm sure this will come as no surprise, but women are the chief health care officers in the family. We make more than 70% of the decisions about our aunts, our uncles, our adult parents, and everyone in our family. And frankly, Women don't want to spend their time haggling over medical bills, nor do they have the time or energy to negotiate the price of non-emergency test procedures, prescription drugs, or even hearing aids up front. What we do is we are professional healthcare advocates within uh, a space that we've defined as consumer healthcare management. 
It's an emerging category within health insurance and health care. Inside that space are about 68 million people of the 300 million insured Americans. The services we provide are quite simple. We provide insurance and Medicare enrollment advisement. We don't sell insurance, so they know they can trust us when we give them advice. We do pre-procedure price uh, negotiation and insurer approvals. Most people don't even realize that on one side of Main Street, that MRI is going to be $3,000, and on the other side, it's going to be $300, and we find those opportunities for them. Deductibles are higher than ever, and we make sure that we protect our clients' assets. Medical bill analysis and resolution is a huge part of our business. According to the University of Minnesota, 30 to 40 percent of all medical bills contain errors. Imagine if you were a restaurant and those were your numbers. It would be tough. And insurance claim appeals. 56% of the time that you ask for one manual appeal statistically, you'll get what you actually paid for with your coverage. In the Medicare space, you have to appeal 3.4 times. How we go to market? We have four major channels. Direct to consumer, employer programs, third-party benefits programs and bundling, and chronic condition association alliances. So the American Diabetes Association would be a great client for us. We leverage our channels through partnerships, key influencers, uh, very small, smart sales force, and media and marketing. The way we make money, we allow consumers to use us as a fixed rate or as part of an, a subscription program. Employers use us as a subscription based on the size of their enterprise. It's a commission structure for third-party benefits providers and service associations, we give deep discounts to their constituents. Our margins are between 40 and 60 percent. How we execute is we have an, inf uh, an informational and a communication platform that's an efficient, effective use of web, text, voice, chat, and social media. We have a huge advantage in the marketplace with our flex personnel. All of our experts, all of our advocates are contracted which keeps our overhead down, and they have a 90% utilization rate. We revenue share or, or pay them hourly, depending on the type of work that they're doing for us. With expansion, when you have this skill set to operate within the healthcare industry, it applies to other things naturally. Dental, optical, hearing, auto, home, and life are natural for us. The competition at this point, the two big ones, health advocate, uh, you've probably heard of them. They're in the benefits space for employer providers. They only deal with really large companies, and typically they're self-insured. Health Proponent, they launched in January. It's a sister company. It's consumer-facing, but in all honesty, it's really an information portal. If you want to use them past just information, it's going to cost you a lot more money. Who we are, thanks to Jay, you know a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a nationally recognized healthcare advocate. I have been, I've appeared in the New York Times, Fox Business, Yahoo News, U.S. News and World Report, and a number of other publications. I've also uh, been on a number of television outlets and radio shows. My job is really as a healthcare evangelist to make sure that we get information out to the people who need us. We have an all-star cast of advisors that represent healthcare, entrepreneurship, VC, research, and uh, people within the technology space, as well as someone who's representing nonprofit. Where we're going in 2014, we were locked and loaded and fully operational. Uh, we got some great key media exposure, and we had our first pay paying clients. This year has been the year of health wildcatters, among other things, but also we've had over 100 paying clients, and uh, we've onboarded several experts, and we have our first corporate client. In 2016, we're looking to 1,000 paying clients and 10 contracts and look at our third-party benefits bundling as an initiative. And in 2017, we anticipate continued growth, 10,000 paying clients and over 100 corporate contracts. In summary, our capital raise is for key leadership hires, those cute little black silhouettes you just saw two slides ago sales and marketing, and technology development. We understand the importance of technology to keep us efficient and effective. Our exit is a sale probably to a competitor or a third-party benefits provider. Health advocates sold for 
265 million to West Corp, and those sound like good numbers to us, so that is what we're going for. In summary, uh, we are looking to create the future of consumer healthcare management. If you believe in our mission, which is to help people fear less, get the care they, they deserve for a fair price, and make a profit while doing it, come find me at the cocktail party or on the walkover or stop by my house in Preston Hollow. I would love to talk to you. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.